What's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, and we're gonna go ahead and head into Crow's Perch now, which we have not been here in a while. We're gonna go in and talk to the sergeant about the the weird, ugly thing. They say he's a person, but it's it's really weird. So let's check this out. What's funny is I thought like the story would go like Velen, Novigrad, Skellige, but I ended up going back here, which is pretty interesting. Let me see if this notice board has anything new. South. Need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Believe you meant to say you've come to ask my permission to take him. I am in charge now, so... Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But then I'll bring your enlightened reign to an end. An abrupt and premature end. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Oh, that was pretty easy. Ugly baby. So tell the person you're minding the stables. Oh, tell the person minding the stables that you are taking Uma. So this guy. I'm taking Uma. There ain't a. Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games. Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door. Now. Here's Roach. She'll take us to Kaer Morhen. Well, come on. displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way.
and the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. <laughs> I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew, the aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say, for your sake. Listen, I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Fine. This audience is over. Till the next. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. Quite a while. Too long. 
And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm. What have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip. And is this... Now, now, calm down. Yennefer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already. And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in, not even a nice to see, jumps right into a we've a curse to lift, there's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. Then she went to the guest room to rearrange things, through the bed off the balcony. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. All right, let's go talk to her. in the place that we actually like first started. a lot of stairs. God damn it, you piece of shit. Uh oh. <coughs> Damned crystal. <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests, especially dull ones. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm. Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First we must finish our preparations. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Alright, I'll talk to them. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up, in rather spectacular fashion. 
I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Alright you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. I know it's pretty short, but unfortunately I need to go to work. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part.